Hello everyone. Today's topic is uh, animal breeding. Animal breeding is one of the important aspect of animal husbandry. The objective of animal breeding is to improve the quality of the desirable products and to increase the yielding power of the animal. These are the best achievement of this type of breeding the desirable characters like increase production of the milk quality of the meat or maximum yield of the eggs per year these are necessarily achieved by the animal breeding but to understand the animal breeding one should understand the word the term breed what is called breed so let's say the breed breed is nothing but the group of animal having the common ancestor and showing the similar characteristics like the general appearance features size configuration etc the example of the breeds is indian breed like zafar abadi mehsana etc the buffalo breeds exotic breeds jersey brown swiss and holstein means breeds is nothing but the group of animal having the common ancestor and showing the similar characteristic like the general appearance features size and configuration for example these breeds animal breeding can be of two types there are two types of the animal breeding the type number 1 in breeding type number 2 out breeding in breeding means the mating between two closely related individuals of the same breed for four to six generation the mating between the two closely related individuals of same breed for four to six generation this is nothing but inbreeding the breeding between the related individuals of the same breed for four to six generation while the outbreeding means the breeding between the unrelated animals that may be this unrelated men animals or may may be Uh, from the same breed but no common ancestor for the 4 to 6 generation so what is the difference here the different lies uh, difference uh, lies from uh, the types of uh, in the type of the any, uh, animal breeding or uh, in breeding and the out breeding in breeding nothing but the mating between the closely related individuals of the same breed uh, for about 4 to 6 generation and the uh, difference lies here the breeding between the unrelated animals may be from the same breed but no common ancestor for the 4 to 6 generation the steps of the inbreeding methods the steps of the inbreeding involves the following steps the step number 1 is the selection of the superior male and the superior female first you have to identify from the cattle you are going to inbreed uh, you have to identify it which one is a superior male and which one is superior female and you have to select it for inbreeding process so what is superior female and what is superior male first you have to understand the this term superior female and superior male superior female for example a superior female cow is one which can produce the more and more milk per lactation while the superior male is one which can produce the superior quality progeny as compared to the other male so superior female cow produces more milk per lactation and superior male is a for example a bull can produce the superior quality of the Uh, superior quality uh, progeny as compared to the other male the steps 
the steps of the inbreedings are selection and the superior male selection of the superior male and female so you have to first select the superior male and superior female from the uh, different types of cattle uh, for your process inbreeding then uh, you have selected the superior male and female then what to do then the mating uh, mating in between the selected animals if you have selected one superior female cow and superior male bull you have to uh, go for the process of mating in between that animal selected animal then after mating what will happen they were, uh, they produce their progeny and after the production of their progeny their next generation or uh, you have to evaluate the progeny whether that progeny got that super superior quality or not after evaluation after a successful evaluation you have to go for the next step and the next step involve the selection of the superior male and superior female again from this progeny and uh, this process is very important process because this uh, this you have to select from the progeny who is the progeny which is the progeny of the selected uh, uh, male and female bull uh, and uh, cows so again you have to select it from the uh, progeny and after the selection you have to go for the further matting in between the superior male and superior female so these are the different steps of the uh, inbreeding so these are the different steps of the inbreeding 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 uh, benefits inbreeding advantages it in inbreeding objectives uh, involves uh, uh, it increases the homozygosity in the animal and if you if you want to uh, evolve the pure lines if you want to evolve the pure lines in any animal you have to go for the inbreeding because it increase it increases the homozygosity in the animal so this is about the inbreeding the matting in between the two closely related individuals of the same breed for four to six generation so you have to perform this step for four to six generation and after four to six generation uh, you will get the progeny will have the superior quality of that cattle this is about the inbreeding let's see now the detail of the outbreeding the breeding between the unrelated animals maybe from the same breed but no common ancestor for four to six generation or it may be between the different breeds or even in between the different species so this is outbreeding and it is further classified or it is also having few steps few times there are almost three types of outbreeding the type number one uh, is outcrossing the type number two is cross breeding and the type number three of the outbre uh, outbreeding is interspecific hybridization so let's have a look on the outcross or outcrossing outcrossing is the best method for the animals which are which are having the having an uh, average milk productivity and the uh, growth rate in the beef and the cattle a single outcross a single outcross often helps to overcome the inbreed depression so what is done in the outcrossing the it's a method in which matting of animals of same breed is done but they are not having the common ancestor uh, on the either side of the mating partner for about four to six generation they are from the same breed but having no common ancestor on the either side of the mating partner and they are uh, nothing but the they are nothing but having the same uh, breed and the progeny you got from the outcrossing by mating between the same breed animals having no common ancestor so you call that progeny the outcross the outcross often helps to overcome the inbreeding depression so this is the outcrossing method the one of the type of the 
outbreeding. Let's see now the detail of the crossbreeding. What is crossbreeding? The crossbreeding is nothing but the breeding in between the superior male of one breed and the superior female of some another breed. So in crossbreeding two different breeds are involved one from one breed one superior male from another breed one superior female and by these crossbreeding in between the two different breeds superior male and female you got the combined characteristics because uh, desirable characters characters uh, are uh, combined from the two different breeds as they are from the two different breeds species the progeny you got from the crossbreeding cross in between that two superior um, cattle uh, you call it hybrid and the different uh, hybrids many new stable hybrids have been um, developed there and in uh, the example of that uh, hybrid is uh, uh, Hazardale, a new breed of the sheep. And this sheep Hazardale is produced or is uh, developed by crossing between the Bicanary Aves and the Merino Rams. So Bicanary Aves and the Merino Rams produced or developed the sheep, the new breed of the sheep by crossbreeding his are Dell. While the interspecies specific hybridization is the third type of the outbreeding, and in this method, this method allows the mating between the male and female of the two different related species. For example, the one species horse plus another species uh, donkey the interspecific hybridization uh, if in uh, between the horse and donkey is done so this interspecific hybridization will produce the new quality that is mule so for getting this mule or for performing the process of the interspecific hybridization in this technique the artificial insemination technique is used this artificial insemination techniques uh, in this technique the superior males are selected and their semen is collected and injected into the genital tract of the female immediately or we can also froze or uh, that semen or you, we can also use that semen later on Semen is semen in the frozen state uh, remains alive for the long duration and convenient for the transport. The artificial insemination is easy and helpful helpful to overcome the several problems of the normal matting. So this is about the interspecific hybridization. The interspecific hybridization it may not be same percent successful. But in few cases, the progeny may combine the desirable characters of both the parents having the considerable economic values. For example, this cross, the horse and donkey will give you the mule. So friends, this is about the animal breeding, which is having two types in breeding and the outbreeding outbreeding is further classified into outcrossing crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization this is about the animal breeding friends like it share it wave it and subscribe the channel to get the more and more knowledge of the science and you can also demand your need whatever you want to understand from my side you just demand i will overcome all the problems you are having regarding the biology and regarding the other subjects 
थैंक यू